is a 4900 FXT Western Star 2016 model. It's got a DD15 Detroit 560 horsepower engine, an 18 speed automated gearbox. It's a real classic example of a modern heavy duty conventional truck. The way it's currently set up, this truck will handle anything up to around 106 tonnes. It'll do tippers, tankers, livestock, heavy haulage, road train doubles, even B triples. And it's just a typical example of the diversity in the modern heavy day prime mover. Now there's a flashback. So this is a 1975 white 4000. It's powered by an 871 Detroit V8. No turbocharger. It's got a 15 speed overdrive transmission and very little in the way of power steering. I think the times have changed quite a bit. But that said, I'm having an absolute ball driving this thing. I'm reliving the trucking youth that I never had. Go oh, mate. Mate, Woody, seriously, what are you doing this time? That is serious old school trucking. V8 GM, twin sooters, 15 overdrive. Oh mate, you are kidding. Everyone keeps telling me how much better things were in the old days. Well, not about better, mate. So, I thought I'd try and find out myself. It'd be good to run an old banger in the new one. And they say that the old Hume Highway is, uh, what, Australia's Route 66? Plenty of mythology. Yeah, there's a lot of folklore attached to it these days. Let's go and do it, but I would suggest one thing. What's that, mate? Put plenty of fuel in it, mate, because they knew how to suck it. <laughs> righty -o. let's go. Make sure you fill it up, Woody. These old bird scarers use plenty. I'm still trying to work out where the Ad Blue goes. Mate, I've got you some energy. You're going <laughs> to need it driving the old banger. Ooh, red frogs, my favourite. Look at the black soot coming out of those twin stacks on that old Detroit. You can easily understand why we have emission regulations these days. In April 1979, there was a truck blockade at Razorback, and it was a bunch of guys who just got extremely fed up with the imposition of road tax, which was an unfair tax. They just decided to put some trucks across the road, and it just became a national focus, it really did. So you were actually here during the blockade, weren't you? I was. I came up for one day and one day only and uh, I was a young guy then, I was only about 26 and I really had a great deal of regard for the way they handled themselves up here. There were some hard boys up here, no question, and they meant business, but they were serious about getting rid of road tax. And they succeeded? They did, indeed they did. the 1970s when cars were made of steel trucks were made of steel leaded paint didn't give you cancer cigarettes were good for you and rock and roll was rock and roll fuel was cheaper than water and nobody paid for water it was a good time a lot of years since I've driven down this stretch of the old Hume Highway brings back all those early thoughts and memories about when it was called Sesame Street. And it was well named to be called Sesame Street. It was a madhouse at times and everyone was in a rush. And the road was skinny and oh, it was crazy stuff. There's no doubt Woody's having a great time driving the old white. It's a bit of a nostalgia trip for Woody. 
sometimes I think he was born a bit too late. But at the end of the day, if you had to do that day in and day out, you can have it on your own. I'd rather have this. It's kind of hard to believe that uh, this used to be a 24 hour roadhouse. Yeah, and there were plenty of them on the old home. Things have changed so much, it's changed everywhere. You know, those trees wouldn't have been there. Um, There's a house where the truck parking was. Yeah, well that's called progress, but we could argue about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to believe though, by the time you got here, back when that truck was on the road, you would have been on the road for what, two and a half, three hours? By oh, the time every you got bit here? of it, yeah, for sure. That's a lot of gear changes. It, yeah, it's about as many as you're making today. <laughs> Probably has changed for the better in some ways, but maybe not in others, you know. Yeah, it's not until you see them like this that you actually really see how much has changed over four decades. Just the sheer size and stature of that star compared to this. They kind of look like this from the same family, but this is the grandfather of that truck. Like White Motor, Motor Corporation, Western Star was a subsidiary. White's no more. This is like the sort of last living entity of the whole empire, if you like. It's not just on the outside, it's on the inside. They're light years apart. They really are, you know. They're really quite an intimate little environment. <laughs> inside the white and getting in and out of that sleeper seriously it must be a, a major event but see in this you can stand up you can walk around you can change your clothes without being a contortionist i think we should uh, pop the bonnets and have a bit of a closer look you ready woody go mate Detroit's come a long way in terms of a brand name, hasn't it? Yeah, they've certainly grown. Look at the size of that engine. You know, they're a big engine, these things. What is it? 560 horsepower, 1850 foot-pounds, EGR, yeah. just one big lump of six-cylinder. And then you look at this thing and you've got uh. one lump of V8 with a supercharger on the top and uh, a place for all the go-juice to go into. Fuel gets into that engine in this finely atomised spray and Basically, this just pumps fuel in. It's all yeah. mechanically just flooded in, and then what it doesn't burn goes out the exhaust pipe. These engines in these sort of trucks, you know, they were the heart and soul of Australian road transport. And you know what? They sound awesome. So how you going, super trucker? What? <laughs> a little bit deaf too, are we? I did what with the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. So how are you travelling? Mate, I feel like I've got a car alarm going off in my head and I can barely use my left arm. I'm not at all surprised, but you're the one who wanted the trip down memory lane. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I, I haven't struggled at all, mate, seriously. No, I'm glad to hear Honestly, that. Honestly, it's... Aircon uh, good? Aircon's lovely. What about yours? What, two windows down and 50 mile an hour? Is it that sort of air? Yeah, something like that. I'll tell you another thing. You don't see too many tarp loads anymore. Yeah, well, you've got the fa fancy trailer with the automated curtains. I've got and fancy stuff like that. everything, mate. Oh, <laughs> Actually, speaking of tarp loads, you reckon you're pretty good with the rope? Yeah, I can hold my own, so okay. to speak. You want to do me a favour? What? I've got a loose rope down on the left-hand side there. You want yeah, to that big up a sook. <laughs> Thanks, mate. That's all right, not a problem. You're kidding. Yeah, good one, Woody. Well done. 